Now this was advertised as having a false edge. It does have an edge, it's, it's not a false edge. It might not be super sharp out of the box, but it can cut these. These are pretty easy. Hope you're all doing well these days. There you go. Now this sword was being sold as the Zasco Medieval Broadsword. The price was $156. However, by reading the reviews, I found out that this sword is actually identical to the Ronin Katana European Model 7, also known as a two-handed longsword. Now the price on that is $285. So what I'm telling you is that this sword is usually $285, but it was being sold for $156. So you see why I just could not resist that deal as a sword collector. The blade length is 36 inches. It's quite a heavy sword. It weighs in at 3.7 pounds. Uh, you see it has that cross guard, has a heavy, a heavy pommel, comes with that scabbard. The steel on this was listed as high carbon steel. I believe it is 1075 high carbon steel. Now, I don't know how long that price will last, but I will include that link in the description of the video. It is a US Amazon link. Another thing you should know, that price fluctuates from $200 to 156. Try to buy it when it's at its lowest. If it sells out, well, uh, congratulations to everyone who gets in on the deal and you know, it's gonna go quickly, probably. Now this is made in China. It's actually made by a forge. I don't know which forge makes it, or if Ronin Katana has its own forge, but uh, places like uh, Hanwei Forge, Dynasty Forge, uh, some of these Chinese forges, they actually make, uh, they actually make the swords for, for Cold Steel and some other brands. Uh, some of them do very good work, including whoever made this. This is a, this is a real sword, a very dangerous sword. Now this was advertised as having a false edge. It is double-edged, so that would be two false edges. However, as you can see, it did cut. Now you notice I didn't do any double cuts. All right, so it's not quite that sharp, but it's somewhere between a false edge and like a working edge, but it can be sharpened. Please remember, this is still extremely dangerous even if it's not that sharp because it is so pointed and heavy that it will go through a torso with almost no effort. If this were sharpened more, it would literally uh, easily chop off limbs. That's probably why they didn't put too much of an edge on it, because if they did, you could literally chop yourself just on a backswing with the, you know, that double edge. It is a heavy sword, but you can wield it with one hand. I mean, it's not like, you know, heavy enough that you had to use two hands. All right? you could get into a very deep thrust with this. But yeah, it has a nice weight to it. I mean, this is a real sword. It is not a wall hanger. Oh man, YouTube, it has started to rain. Okay, we've got to wrap this up. But, uh, you know, I usually buy much shorter swords than this because in, in the modern age, if you're in a sword fight, it, it's, it's gonna be close quarters, right? because me, if I'm on an open battlefield, I have ranged weapons, I have projectile weapons I can use. So I just figure if I ever had to use a sword, it's gonna be close up. So I usually buy shorter swords, but if you're looking to get into like just the old, the old school European swords, I mean, you could really see this on the battlefield and on an open battlefield, the extra length would actually be um, quite an advantage. Uh, deadly sword, chopping, piercing. Yeah, I'm very happy with this sword. I do recommend it. All right, it's it's really coming down now, so I'm out of here. I'm gonna go dry this off and have some coffee. <laughs>